Now, the controversial social media influencer Andrew Tate has been arrested in Romania on suspicion of human tra trafficking, rape and forming an organised crime group. They're being detained for something they've not they're being detained done something. without evidence. He's a relationship now. Bro, I talk to him every day. And what do you think about him being cancelled? I think he'll win anyway. Being attacked is a sign of, of greatness. I feel like if you get attacked, that means you're doing something so big that people feel like they want to stop you. It was interesting. He flew me over. It was good. It was fun. Last night, we went to Tate's house. Phenomenal experience. Super hospitable, humble guy. Honestly, I was very impressed. Very down to earth. He was a great host. Like He was asking us, hey, are you guys enjoying the night? So yeah, I honestly had a great experience. He was really polite in person. I didn't expect him to be, like you said, so smiley, um, very warm. Met in Romania, in Bucharest, through a mutual friend, and we all went out for dinner together. We had a really nice intellectual conversation. He wasn't rude to me, he wasn't inappropriate with me. I actually, I liked him a lot. He's smiley, he's friendly, he's got high energy. He's a gentleman. You know, it sucks to, to see some of your best friends get just completely slandered. I was in Romania hanging out with the Tate brothers. I spent a significant amount of time with them, and what I want to say is these guys are the furthest thing from criminals. They're the furthest thing from human traffickers. A genuine bond and friendship with him and people really like don't understand that like this happening, this all happening it actually like affects me because it's like that's my friend. These guys are the these furthest thing from the criminals. They're the furthest thing from, from human traffickers. Thing. Was it meeting Andrew Tate? He was a very nice person. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I had him here on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Generous, uh, polite. I know Tristan and Andrew pretty well personally and what I can say about them is that they are the sweetest, the smartest and most respectful people I know. I had lived with Andrew for years and years and he would never do anything like this. I've known Andrew Tate since 2013. He's always been nice to me. Paid for a guy who's, whose daughter had cancer, whose daughter's been really, really ill, they've been struggling and he paid for two weeks for him to go to Disney World. You don't hear that. Me and oh, me. fuck off. That's my team captain. You've said enough. Go. Yeah. So nice. But yeah, he was really nice. He made it everyone around him is making it. You can't see anyone who stuck to him and with true friends and stuff. I mean, they even try to bribe with some of their girlfriends and stuff. And no one tells anything. I was lucky enough to have met this man. And I can say that the person that I was supporting through a screen turned out to be exactly as I expected in person. I just had such a positive experience. I have absolutely nothing negative to say. So. I think he is an absolute genius. I think he's a beast. I like what he's doing and more power to him to make his money. Andrew Tate is a good friend of mine. He's such a nice man and he's very generous. He's always been respectful of me and others in my team. His confidence, he's very good at building business. He's proven it. he's made himself extremely rich doing it. A lot of what he says about masculinity and stuff, I, I completely would sign up to actually. Yeah. Andrew is a great friend. He's a great guy. He would never hurt anyone. Tate's a good friend and brother to me. Muslim brother and a good friend. I've known him 15, 16 years, maybe longer. For me, it's complete bullshit. Did you hurt any girl? Of course not. If I only could make a deal with God Then get him to swap our places Be running on the road The Matrix is trying to frame me, but God knows the truth. There's no evidence in my file, so I've done nothing wrong.